So in this video, I'm gonna give a final review, all my thoughts and feelings about the Editage ETM001 mic. It's a super small omnidirectional mic that I've been using recently with the GoPro Hero 5 uh, using my audio hack. Is this the mic you should buy? Find out in this video. Welcome back Pathless Peddlers to another episode of Video Ninja School where I share with you guys tips and tricks I've learned about lightweight but high quality video production. So if you watch my other videos about making videos uh, with the GoPro, you've seen me talk about this ceremonic mic. It's the omnidirectional. It has this pivoting elbow joint uh, to it so you can kind of point it directly at you or whatever source you want. And I like this mic. I've used it for the better part of a year and it's pretty good. But recently I became curious about the Editage ETM001 mic, which you see here. I think generally fairly similar uh, in terms of its pickup pattern, but unlike the Ceremonic, this is just, you just plug it straight in. There's no bending joint. And also unlike the Ceremonic, it's actually it seems to have a be little bit better construction. It's, it's an all metal body, less plastic, less things to break than the Ceremonic. So both these mics I use with my GoPro Audio Hack uh, I'm not going to talk about it here, but I'll link up to it up here. So over the last couple of weeks, I've been putting the ETM001 and the GoPro Hero 5 here uh, through its paces, trying it in different conditions to see what I think about it compared to the Ceremonic mic. I'm going to cut to the chase, and this is how it sounds like using it as a piece to camera mic with the GoPro uh, about arm's length away. Hey there, everybody. I'm here in Stillwater, Oklahoma for the launch of the Salsa Journeyman. Actually, I'm not. I'm here in Missoula, Montana at Hellgate Cyclery, one of the fine, uh, finest salsa dealers here in the West. And this is what it sounds like when I use it to narrate a ride on a chesty mount pointing upside down. In terms of the mic, I've been actually really pleased with it so far. I thought that the Omni pattern wouldn't pick up the voice very well in a ride, but in our last vlog, it seemed to do pretty good. I always wonder if people think I'm strange I'm always biking up and down the trail with a rod that's strung up. And this is what it sounds like when I take it fishing uh, on the Chesney Mound pointed right side up. So I'm using what's called a spay cast, which is basically a roll cast. And the reason I'm doing that is there's a high bank right behind me with, with bushes, so I can't do a back cast. But I can do lay it on the water and pop it out. Really versatile cast. And this is what it sounds like when I'm riding a bike and using it as a piece to camera uh, camera. So for me, this training ride is supposed to be a fasted ride. So I've not eaten in the last couple hours. And again, that's kind of just to train the body to burn on fat. These rides are kind of tough because usually I get really hungry about an hour and a half. So hopefully that gave you a, a clear sense of what it sounds like in various conditions, both standing still and both moving on the bike, um, you know, using it as a chesty cam, but also holding it out and speaking to the camera. To my ears, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I think it stacks up really well uh, compared to the Ceremonic. In some ways, it's a little bit better. I find that the output from uh, the ETM001 mic just tends to be uh, a lot louder than the Ceremonic. Initially, I thought that this would be a problem, especially in noisy environments. And I do still think that's the case, but if you're doing, if you're vlogging outdoors, you know, fishing, biking, hiking, running, then I don't think it actually will be that much of an issue. I do think if you're gonna use it in any kind of active way, uh, you want to get the wind muff. If you don't put the wind muff on it, it's gonna sound like crap. So, you know, these are cheap. It's in the description below. Now, if you buy this mic, pick up the wind muffs. I find that it has pretty good wind rejection with the wind muffs. I'd say you know, anywhere from 10 to 12 miles per hour on the bike, you'll still be able to get a nice clear voice coming through. And even on breezy days, it'll help reject that uh, air sound so you can still um, get decent audio. One thing I've done with this mic, or actually not have, have stopped doing with this mic, in, initially I thought I would need a right angle adapter to uh, better point this mic at me. But I found that it's just another piece that kind of gets loose and wiggles off after a while. So actually, all those video samples, I've been just clicking the mic uh, directly into uh, the audio adapter. And because the, the pickup pattern of the mic is omnidirectional, it actually does a pretty good job, even though it's not pointed directly at me per se. So what, so what I like about this setup is that there's one less piece to lose or break. It makes it you know, just a tiny bit smaller and compact. 
and uh, actually sounds pretty good. So I would kind of uh, go back on my previous recommendation about you know, needing the right angle adapter. And I'd say for, at least to my ears, it sounds good enough that I would use it comfortably, uh, just plug straight into the adapter. So should you get this mic over the Saramonic or should you upgrade over the Saramonic to this mic? I would say if you don't have either mic, I would actually uh, get this one over the Saramonic. And this is why. I like the sound in the Saramonic, but I do think because of the plastic construction, um, and the bending joints, it just introduces a couple more things to break. And I'm actually on my second Ceremonic mic. But with the uh, with this mic, there's just no moving parts to break. It does have a metal uh, body in terms of construction, so it just feels like it's going to last uh, a little bit longer. So if you don't have either of these mics, I would get this one and the Winmuff. But that said, if you do have the Ceremonic, use it until it breaks and then get this one or get this one as a backup. So if you got the Ceremonic on my recommendation, I'm not saying it's a terrible mic and that your videos are gonna be crap, perfectly usable. Just use it until it breaks or pick this one up as a backup. Again, they're about the same price, not very expensive, and they're really, really small. So let me know if you have any other questions uh, below in the comment section about this mic or the Ceremonic mic. I'll try to answer them. And again, the links to all these products and you know how I made this uh, super small and lightweight uh, rig for the GoPro is going to be in the description below. And once again, thanks for watching. And until next time, ride bikes, travel, and do good.